The Australian Army successfully carried out its first real firing exercise of the National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System NASAMS, at the Woomera Test Range in South Australia. This event, involving the 16th Regiment, Royal Australian Artillery, represents a significant step in the modernization of the Army's ground-based air and missile defense capabilities. It aligns with the Australian Defence Forces ADF, objective for a more unified and robust defence strategy. Lieutenant General Simon Stewart, the Chief of the Army, commended the exercise as a crucial development in preparing the Army for challenges outlined in the Defence Strategic Review. He emphasised the importance of this world-class capability in the modernization of the Army, supported by defence industry partners. The NASAM system integrates a Kongsberg launch platform, a Raytheon AIM-120 AMRA missile, and advanced radar technology from CEA Technologies. This cutting-edge system is intended to replace the existing RBS-70 man portable air defence systems in the Australian Army's arsenal. The NASAMS, National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System, is an air defense system jointly developed by the Norwegian company Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace and the American company Raytheon. Originally designed to meet the needs of the Norwegian Army, it has since become a widely adopted air defense system internationally. The development of NASAMS began in the 1990s. At that time, Norway was seeking an air defense system that could replace its aging Hawk surface-to-air missiles. The collaboration between Kongsberg and Raytheon resulted in a system that utilizes the AIM-120 AMRAM missile, previously exclusively airborne. This innovation led to the creation of a ground-based defense system capable of intercepting targets with the same effectiveness as fighter jets equipped with AMRAM. Technically, NASAMS is distinguished by its ability to integrate various sensors and launchers to form a coherent defense network. The core of the system relies on surveillance and targeting radars, which can be coupled with various types of radars depending on specific needs. These radars detect, track, and identify aerial targets, whether they are planes, helicopters, drones, or missiles. The AIM-120 AMRA missile, a central element of NASAMS, is an active radar-guided missile capable of intercepting targets at distances of up to 20 to 30 kilometers and altitudes of up to 20 kilometers. Its speed, range, and accuracy make it effective against a variety of aerial threats. A key aspect of NASAMS is its modularity and flexibility. It can be configured in several ways, with options for mobile or fixed launchers, thus offering adaptability to different tactical and strategic situations. This flexibility is enhanced by its ability to integrate into larger air defense networks, allowing it to work in coordination with other defense systems. Since its introduction, NASAMS has been continuously improved. It is now in its third version, NASAMS 2, which offers enhancements in radar technology, communications, and system integration capabilities. Major General Andrew Bottrell, head of the Army's Land Systems Division within the Capability Acquisition and Sustainment Group, highlighted the crucial contribution of the defense industry in advancing the Army's technological capabilities. He praised the collaborative effort of Raytheon Australia, Kongsberg, and CEA Technologies in delivering this complex capability.